Amen. If you're going to do the music, do the music. Feel me? If you're in the street, you got to let that shit go. Feel me? It's a difference between being smart and scary. You know what I'm saying? Fuck what a nigga got to say. You got to be smart. Get the money. You know what I'm saying? Then you can play how you want with the money. You ain't got to... You can play how you want, do what you want. But if you're still in the street, you're going to hinder yourself from getting blessings. You feel me? You can't, have, you can't do the devil's work and get God's blessings. So you got to find a way to limit that shit. And whenever you find a way to limit it and God see you trying, you're going to get blessed. That's the only thing that was holding me back, and that's probably still holding me back. You hear me? What it do, YouTube? It's your boy, from Man Man So Crazy TV. Back again with another video, man. Salute to the notification, notification game, man. Y'all smash that like button for me, man. It's free. It don't cost you nothing. All my brothers and sisters out there, I salute everybody out there doing their thing. Hey, today, uh, I'm going to talk about our kids and, and the generation that we're going in. Like, I was looking through the internet earlier today, and I can't see no number stumble across, like, all these bad, bad crimes young people doing. You know what I'm saying? Like, we ain't gonna have no more, we ain't gonna have no granddaddies in the future, man, because we losing all our kids at a young age. You know what I'm saying? Like, if a kid make it past 17 years old, he lucky as hell in the world we live in today. Not only that, we still got the COVID. You know what I'm saying? I know some of y'all got the shots. Thank you, y'all protected. Y'all really not protected. You know, just something for the government to try to control us. And it's certain things that I say up on this platform that, you know, um, the people my age, they don't have a problem with none of the stuff I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? It's only the young kids. Oh, you a red and you did this, you a YouTuber. You know what I'm saying? That don't bother me. But at the same time, man, I, I, want, I want to just put a message out there like, man, the world has changed so much, man. Like, the way our kids... Growing up now, they growing up as they got to hit adulthood early. And I don't know why with all these resources and stuff that they got now that we didn't have. You know what I'm saying? We didn't know what a cell phone was. Only the rich people had the big, great cell phone. You know what I'm saying? Like, they don't, they'll, they'll never know what it was to, like, go outside and play high go seek. Red light, green light. Simon says, you know what I'm saying? And it just touched me earlier, man, because we losing our children, people. You know what I'm saying? I'm an 80s baby. And I know I ain't that old, but I've lived the life. I ain't going to say I live a righteous life all my life. You know what I'm saying? Coming up, you know, my mama, she was a strong mama. She was a real strong mama. My grandma was, was even stronger. You know what I'm saying? Like, two of the best people that I ever came across in my life, you know? And it's like, um, when you sit back and think, like, bro, my grandmama was, was, was in her 80s, you know, 70s or something, she passed away. And now the grandmamas I see today, they be in their 30s. And I ain't used to seeing none of that. You know what I'm saying? Like, kids are having babies early, it's just a lot of stuff just going on that's, that have changed. You know what I'm saying? Within, oh man. It took a lot for me to even get this video out to y'all, man, because uh, it's sad, man. It's sad. It's sad. The way our kids got to grow up. You feel me? We got to save our children. To the black men out there, bro, you got a son. Not not just a son, even a daughter, kids, period. Talk to them. T 
teach them how we used to, you know, do. Like, keep social media at their life as much as possible. You know what I'm saying? Because I went up in the wing stop earlier. I'm going to pay for my food. Everybody was up in there with their head down on their phone. And I'm like, damn. Bro, people can come up here and rob this place. Don't nobody, even the workers was on their phone. They back there waiting on their saying on their phone, man. And with all this modern technology, man, I, I know it it was supposed to make the, the, the world a more better place and easy access to stuff. But I think social media and, and, and these gadgets and stuff, they messed up our culture, especially the black culture. You know what I'm saying? Especially the black culture, man. And it's sad, bro. Like, we got to get our kids. Now, they ain't got to be your kids. If you just an older guy or older lady, you know what I'm saying, you can teach a, a kid something, man, do that, man. You know what I'm saying? Do that for the next, for the next generation. Because, obviously, they don't know. They just don't know how good they got it growing up. You know what I'm saying? We was back in the day. They'll never know how it felt. On a, on a Saturday to wake up and watch them cartoons. I ain't talking about all these new animes and all that. We had Woody Woodpecker, Tom and Jerry. You know what I'm saying? We had all those type of stuff that's going on, bro. It just said. We just got to pray for our, our, our culture, man, our people. You know what I'm saying? We got to bring our kids back. Even when I was growing up, yeah, it was hood, it was bad, but the gangsters, you know what I'm saying, the, 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 the gangsters, it's like they had a rule. They're not going to touch kids. They're not going to touch nobody, mama, the elderly. It's like they protect them. Black people was more together, you know what I'm saying? And the last time I'd have seen black people come together, to, together with loyalty is when I went to prison. I ain't never see so many loyal people in my life, man. You know, I'm a vice lord. And them brothers were so loyal to me. Up in that pen, like, bro, wouldn't let me go without eating. I'm talking about just to come over there and just check on me. It ain't like that up in the real world, man. It's a dog-eat-dog -dog world out here, bro. You gotta keep your... You gotta keep your eyes open, man, out here in this world today. It's bad. It's bad. People dying for senseless reasons, man. People getting shot, robbed, killed, stabbed. You know what I'm saying? Especially coming from a place like where I'm from, Jackson, Mississippi. I ain't finna just talk down on my city because it made me who the man I am today. Like, but coming up, I ain't gonna say it was real, real hard. Night to make it out there now, you really gotta sit down somewhere. Like, I'm tired of somebody calling me saying, such and such just died, such and such just died. It ain't nothing negative with it, but I'm just tired of hearing it. It's like I'm numb to the pain now. You know what I'm saying? I didn't got so, I got so many homeboys and friends that's, that had died to the street stuff, man. Some of them, some little young dudes and killed them and then everything. It just, I hope y'all understand me and why I made this video, man. Because it ain't got nothing to do with no Dolph or nothing. I know y'all used to me talking about Dolph, but even some young dudes killed Dolph. Like, you know how dangerous it is to go to Memphis right now? Bro, back in the day, it wasn't that bad. They might steal your, your rims off your car. Or some we used to go to the to the Memphis and the Jackson State game. They got it every year. I don't know if it's a Southern Heritage or something like that, but it's a game that we have every year. And uh, we used to walk on Beale Street, and it wasn't that bad. You know what I'm saying? It it, it wasn't. But now, even when we used to be around in our little cliques and stuff like that. We didn't have no guns and stuff with us. Like, if somebody had a gun, it was one person at the whole clip that had a gun. And it was a revolver. It wasn't none of these Dracos or FNs and 
you know, all this stuff that the kids carrying today. And some of the OGs, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm glad that some of the OG, they surviving because they send down. It's like some of the kids don't want to be taught. You can't tell the kid nothing. You know what I'm saying? Not no kid who, you know what I'm saying? Like, they having babies early. Not saying that we didn't have children early, but it's just a, it's just a lot now. Even when we went to school, out of that whole school, you might have one girl in that whole school that probably was pregnant, was a little freak, everybody. You know what I'm saying? But no disrespect to no ladies at all. I just said that to say this, man. We got to save our kids. Because the world we live in today is getting worse and worse. With that being said, it's your boy, Man Man So Crazy TV. To all my brothers and sisters out there, y'all take care of yourself. Take care of y'all kids. To y'all fathers out there, take care of the kids, man. And we are this big.